Hello, this is Tony Hillerson. I'm going to be your presenter for the second part of the O'Reilly Learning Android with Java classes. Now, uh, for the second class, we're going to be building a Twitter client. And as some of you may already know, and as you can read here at the bottom of this uh, website, the Twitter API team is going to be shutting off basic authentication. So to sign in to Twitter, which uh, allows uh, the application that we build to be able to post tweets on your behalf to see your your Twitter stream, we need to sign on with something called OAuth, which uh, Twitter is going to be supporting um, in in favor of uh, basic auth here pretty soon because uh, there's no uh, need for the third-party application to store the password, which is pretty much one of the reasons that uh, OAuth was invented. So what each of you will need to do um, in addition to getting yourself a Twitter um, account if you don't already have one is when you when you have your account come here to dev.twitter.com and uh, sign in and register an application because uh, each of you will need to put in um, something called the, uh, the uh, authentication keys that Twitter will give you for your application into the uh, sample code that um, you'll be working with. So I come here to click register an application. I'll call this application test. Give it a slight description. Um, give it a website of something like uh, the organization can be whatever you'd like. I'm going to say that this is O'Reilly. Now it's important that you choose um, browser for the application type because as we'll see in the first class uh, we'll be able to act like a browser and in fact use the web browser uh, component that's inside Android to um, to make use of the fact that this application is registered as a browser type application uh, to make it easy for the user to sign in via Twitter. Now for the callback URL we want to use otweet.com authenticated um, and I will explain that in, in the uh, first class but make sure that you use this string HTTP colon backslash backslash otweet.com authenticated and uh, that will be important during the class. Then you can go ahead and uh, make it a read and write access type. Uh, you don't need to put up an application icon unless you'd like but that will show up dur during the sign-in process to the user and then you need to prove that you're a human by filling in this uh, captcha and then you say register application. Agree to the terms of service uh, test has already been taken, it seems. I'll call it test for screencast. And it looks like the application website needs to have the HTTP in front of it. And now I'll try this one more time. Okay, here we go. The application has been registered. Um, you can come at any point um, to dev.twitter.com and see your apps and you can see that I've already created one called Otweet which is the one I'll be using officially for the class and then you can see that test for screencast is what we just set up here and now let's go look at these details because there's an important couple bits of information that you need out of here you need these settings right here under the heading OAuth 1.0a settings you need the consumer key and the consumer secret and I will be telling you where to put those inside the uh, code when we get to that point in the application uh, development I think in the first class and then you can make sure that you've set up the correct OAuth callback URL which will be intercepting inside of the uh, code from the uh, web component that we'll be using inside of the uh, sign-in process. And that's all you need to do for your sort of pre-class homework. Make sure that you've got yourself a Twitter sign-in and come here to dev.twitter.com and set up an application. Uh, call it something unique. As you can see that uh, Twitter wants it to be unique. And then um, make sure that you can remember how to get here so that you can get your consumer key and consumer secret. And then lastly, during the sign-in process, make sure that otweet.com authenticated is your callback URL. And that's all you need to do.
to set yourself up with an application that we'll use to create a third-party Twitter application using Android.